Albert here, and this is a track review. We are at Martin MX in Martin, Michigan. I'm gonna kind of make this up as we go, but we're gonna review this track. We're gonna give it a score. I'm going to talk about the obstacles, the dirt, and the track layout. So for those of you guys that are looking at new tracks, whether you're traveling around the country or if you're just moving to a new area, whatever it is, you can kind of use these as a basis, whether a track's good or not, and if you should go. So obstacles, Martin MX. Everything that you'd want. Small jumps, safe jumps. There's a couple of big ones, but even the big ones are pretty safe. There's a big, uh, we'll call it a triple. It's got a plateau in the center where, really that's how track builders should always build tracks, especially locally, where you can jump to that midway point and then it sort of rolls down nice and safe where I was throwing whips on it. You can land just about anywhere. The chance of overshooting it, unlikely, and if you do case it, super safe. There's also a big single to table in the back that I stretched to get all the way over it, but that's a perfect one where you could jump midway, three quarters, and not really find that bounce zone where you're bouncing all the way to the dangerous flat. There's a couple cool roller sections that you can wheelie through. There's the finish line jump where you can scrub, a couple of small scrub jumps. It's really, it has everything that you could ask for obstacle-wise. Dirt-wise, this is some of the best dirt that I've ridden, period. I mean, it's a perfect mixture of, we'll call it a sand clay mix, I guess. It ruts up the perfect amount, not too much. It's not too soft or ruts either. It just like hardens enough to where they will hold throughout the day, but not bake. Like if you went to Oklahoma, Texas, California, the ruts are just gonna be hardened and baked. It's not like that, which is really cool. The track owner has amazing water trucks and he waters it consistently throughout the day, which it keeps the moisture in it and the track never really falls apart. He has a perfect system to rake it. And then he has another system which can kind of flatten essentially the rake that he does. So if he has lesser experienced riders, he can not till it as deep. I, he really has the process down as far as track prep goes. So dirt, I'm gonna rank it up there with the best of them. And then as far as track layout, I don't know if he built this, if he just built it himself, but it's it, it's pretty spot on. It has some high speed sections with switchbacks to slow it down just enough. And then you get to the section where you're seeing the deep ruts with like the step ups out of the corners where it actually gets really, really tight going down a second gear on the 250F to where you can work the tight technical stuff. It has inside options with rollers where you can rail the outside. I don't even think this is a racetrack, but if it were, there'd be a ton of passing opportunity. Uh, so as far as layout goes, shoot, I'd rank it up there again. Like overall, one lap, everyone knows the rules. <sighs> of all the tracks I've ever been to, and I've been to, I, Cam, do you think, I've probably been to more tracks than anybody at this point. <laughs> and I've probably ridden more random bikes than anybody at this point too. Uh, still take my advice with a grain of salt here, but I'm gonna say nine, I'm gonna give it a, a huge score right off the bat. We're gonna give it a nine six. This is easily one of the top three tracks that I've been to ever. Between track layout, obstacles, and dirt combined, not to mention location. It's right off the highway. It is a little far from the airport, which most people aren't flying to tracks. I do. Uh, so a little far from the airport. Gonna deduct a couple points for that. But right off the highway, you can hear the drag strip in the back. So as far as them getting issues with noise complaints, none. It's right next to a gas station, so you can get your drinks, fill up with fuel. It's only a couple exits down from a Starbucks key for the morning to get a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. 9.6 Martin MX. Highly recommend, make the trip. If you're within, I'd say if you're within 20 hours, make, make the trip. This one's worth it, 9.6, okay. Toodaloo.